Yeah, this is it. We are totally rolling over. The car ferry is capsizing right now. It looks like it's struggling to stay afloat. We have cars sinking into the water. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am back in Stormworks and I'm going to be putting this car ferry up against a challenge today. And that is overloading it with vehicles and then I'm going to put it into a storm and we'll see how it does. All right, so here I am on board and as you can see, we've got a ton of vehicles on the deck. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure if this is overloaded, but it certainly is uh, a lot of vehicles and a lot of extra weight. So once we put this through a storm, it might get disastrous. Now, I'm not going to strap the vehicles down. You would usually want to do that, but some of these vehicles don't have any ties to attach ropes to. So, yeah, they're just going to hopefully stay in one place. But I'm pretty sure once we get the winds and waves going, it is going to be a free-for-all in here. So let's go ahead and let's get started up. Now we're going to go down below. We're going to go to a generator room. And uh, I would recommend reading the description before starting up the ship because it is very useful and uh yeah here we are in the engine room going back here we should have the generator room here we are let's go ahead and start it up so there we go we got the batteries running and now we go back to the engine room and we go up these stairs and into the control room so let's go ahead and start up the engines all right we're all set to go there let's go up to the bridge and uh, get it moving all right here we go so let's get the engines going forward all right here we go we are moving so now i'm just gonna sail away from the oil rig a little bit and then we'll get the waves going and while we're doing that let's go ahead and take a look at some of those interiors because the ship does have more than just the car deck all right so we are now entering the crew areas here we have a really nice crew cabin we've got a view out forward you can see the bow and everything there now this ship does not have a bow door so all of the vehicles are actually loaded onto the ship at the stern here we have a dining area this is pretty cool we have an ac and heater system so we can go ahead and activate that there we are going down we have the crew passenger areas as well as a sitting area just after there we've got the car deck and then going up we have the passenger compartments. After there, we've got this really nice looking staircase that goes up to a sitting area. We have another AC and heating system. And here we have the dining area for the passengers. And this looks to be a buffet style. We've actually got a TV in here as well. So that's cool. We can go forward and we have the first class area. Going forward of that, we have the first class lounge. And then we have an area out onto the deck. And I like the use of the ammo drums as these inflatable life rafts. You'd throw these off the side, they'd open up, and then, uh, yeah, you'd have a life raft. All right, so I think that gives us a taste of what this ship has to offer. We've got some nice first class spaces, regular passenger spaces, and crew spaces. So, now that we've sailed far enough away from the oil rig, let's activate the waves. So let's go up to 50% here. There we are. We've actually got water crashing through the car deck, so that's a little concerning. But luckily the cars have not flipped over or slid to one side, so that's good. Here in the passenger compartment, you can see the waves are pretty ferocious out there, but I think we can make them more intense. Let's go up to 80%. There we go. All right, yeah, the ship is really starting to rock and roll at this point. And I've just realized this is not the way out. This is a bathroom. Now, we can access the car deck here, so that is good. We don't have to go outside for it. We can just stay inside. All right, so I've turned the ship around, so we're now heading into deeper water, which means larger waves. And uh, we can already start to see the effect taking place as it uh, rolls over these waves. And, uh, yep, there it goes crashing down into the water there and oh my gosh those cars are not having a good time whoa that is a very large tilt right there we almost lost a couple of those cars we did lose the life rafts holy cow all right so we are now encountering some serious waves and the ship is rolling over like crazy now it's kind of interesting to look at a view like this the camera is stationary with the ship and all we can see is the horizon moving, and that is wild. Whoa. Oh, yep, we're rolling over. We're on our side right now. Totally on our side. Oh, we're done for. We're capsizing. Holy cow. Yeah, this is it. We are totally rolling over. The car ferry is capsizing right now. It looks like it's struggling to stay afloat. We have cars sinking into the water. All right, from now on, we're going to keep that door shut. And let's uh, watch the ship here as it gets rolled again. Wow. 
Here we go. We're going to get battered by another big wave. There we are. We're rolling onto our side. And then we're going to have another huge wave. It's about to crash into the side of the ship. There it is. And we're over on our side. But somehow we prevail. Okay, something weird is going on. I know we're getting hit by all these waves and whatnot, and that definitely makes the ship look like it's doing a lot of weird stuff because, of course, it's literally getting thrown around. But it seems as if the ship is losing buoyancy. Now, I can get down to the engine room, but I'm pretty sure if I try to get down there, I'm going to die because we've seen the state of the car deck, and we're also starting to see the state of the ocean right now. All right, we'll wait for this wave to go by. All right, here we go. Making a run for it. Gotta go quick. All right, there we are. Okay, that's not good. So that would be the reason why we're losing buoyancy. Because there is a ton of water in the engine room. All right, we're going to try to escape here and uh, abandon ship. All right, so now I'm going to stop the ship. And I'm going to try to lower a lifeboat. All right, here we go. Slowing it down. All right, there we are. Let's get to the lifeboats. All right, dab it out and lower down. Oh my gosh. Okay, that did not go well. Oh, the lifeboat crashed onto the deck of the ship. Well, that's great. All right, here we go. Let's hop in and let's hope for the best. Now, of course, this ship was never designed to go through something like this. So it's not the fault of the builder, simply the fault of the situation that I put it through. So, yeah. Now, the creator also mentions don't put massive tankers on this ship that are filled with diesel or uh, other fluids because it could capsize the ship nonetheless, and that's just because of how the physics with uh, fluids work in the game. Now, I will say the way that this ship is going down is pretty realistic. A lot of ships will lose buoyancy or lose stability and roll over to one side, and that's what we're seeing here. We see a loss of stability and buoyancy, and now the ship is sitting on one side. Now... This actually does tend to happen to a lot of um, car carriers, and uh, that's because of their open spaces and also shifting cargo and vehicles. So, um, in this case, I don't necessarily think it's the vehicle shifting over because we've lost most of the vehicles, but water entry into the lower decks, which is now resulting in what we're seeing here. Man, that is a view right there, standing on the bridge, looking towards the stern, and you can see the funnel going over to one side. Well, the whole ship really going over to one side. The davits deployed, and the lifeboat's gone. All right, yep, I think it is going over. As you can see, it is practically on its side at this point. And yep, there it is. The instability is too great, and the ship now rolls over. And you can see it doing it now. It's a very slow process because all the water and the weight is shifting inside the ship. And if we go into no-clip mode... All of those vehicles are plummeting down. All right, it looks like this is as far as the ship is going to go, at least for sinking. Now, this ship was never designed to sink. It didn't have a sink mechanism in it. So there are some void spaces that were never meant to flood, and that's why the ship is still here and uh, will remain here for, I guess, eternity. So, yeah, this is as far as I'm going to get with this sinking. But if you guys want to try it yourself, there will be a link in the description. I do highly recommend this build. It is very cool. And uh, yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And I'll see you all next time, guys. Goodbye.